What is up, you guys? It's your boy, RJ. Welcome back to a brand new video. Tonight, we witnessed something great. In the past, I said Jacob Fatu will make a return to WWE because he signed a contract and he, WWE wasn't sure when he was going to make his debut to uh, WWE. And he only signed a SmackDown contract. Tonight, I'm watching Friday Night SmackDown. It was Solo versus um, Cody Rhodes, main event of SmackDown. Tama Tonga, Loa Tonga interfered. And guess who finally made a WWE debut and joined the new blood in, bloodline era, Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu. Go look him up on, on, on YouTube. He is the most dominated guy in the pro wrestling entertainment. Jacob Futu, or Fatu is the most dominant guy. He is very talented. Go look him up on YouTube. He made a debut on SmackDown. He made a debut at the end of SmackDown. This is insane. He attacked Cody Rhodes. They were trying to make a, a statement about how the bloodline could take over a lot, you know, in WWE since Roman left WWE. I don't know when Roman returns, but this is insane. This is insane, guys. Jacob Fatu made his debut tonight. I was right. The rumors were true. Jacob Fatu made a debut, WWE debut tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And I am very happy that my predictions were right. And yeah. Other than that, it's like, you know, SmackDown was good. We had some good SmackDown tonight. Uh, other than that, Jacob Futu made a re WWE debut. He made a WWE debut on Friday Night SmackDown. He signed a contract saying that he's going to sign a contract saying that he's going to be with WWE. And what he did was uh, he showed up. He showed up at the end of, of SmackDown at the main event of SmackDown, which was a perfect timing because Cody Rhodes have feud with the Bloodline, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, all those guys have feuds with the whole Bloodline. With Solo Sokoa, have you know what I mean? But other than a surprise, another surprise return, or after that individual quit on Monday Night Raw. He showed up to Chicago, and that, uh, that is the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, shows up to Chicago to pay a payback to CM Punk and destroy CM Punk. Yeah. Yeah. They added more security guards backstage. They added more security guards front. Because I don't know if it has to relate to uh, the white six return to Monday Night Raw, so I think they took his they took his they took this precautiously, and they added more security guards uh, in WWE uh, just to be safe. They added it backstage, and they added it uh, beside the announce team uh, just because. They don't want anything to happen with the Wyatts or if the Wyatt Six return to Friday Night Smackdown, that they would be completely ready. And yeah. But yeah, I wanted to say, I want to hop on here to say that Jacob Futu finally made his return. I was finally right. He did sign that multi um, he did sign that, that, that contract. Um he's gonna be with Solo Sokoa and uh yeah. I was uh I was thinking about him returning to be on Roman's side when Roman returns as a baby face, but I was wrong on that part, but I was I was I was right 
about him returning to the W or making the debut on WWE. I love you guys. Stay safe. I'll see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to do something that's going to put a smile on your face because that's what matters. Don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Share it with your friends, family, cousins, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever you guys have. And yeah, have a nice day, my fellas. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Our nation. We're the biggest team on YouTube. Remember that. Peace.